it was Christmas morning, and I was in Hollywood, and I wake up, and I'm basically throwing up from all the alcohol and stuff I'd done the night before. It just felt like a dark hole that would never end. The most difficult time is when knowing very well that I was facing some prison time, and knowing very well that there was no second chance. It was dark because I didn't know who I was or where I was going. I was doing things that, you know, made me feel disgusted with myself. On one occasion, um, I felt so bad that I was impelled to call upon God, although I hadn't prayed for about 10 years. And I'm just praying, God, what can you help me do? Help me here. It's just me and you again. I was humble enough to feel that there was something else and I wanted to know, so I fell to my knees and, uh, you know, earnestly asked. Just asking for a sign for him, but I think it was for me to stop and think of what I was really searching for. And in answer to that, I had an overwhelming feeling of calm and peace come over me. I felt this warmth coming over me like I've never experienced in my life, ever. Almost like a, a hug. It just wrapped around me. To describe it was indescribable. It felt like pure love. At that moment, I knew, without a shadow of a doubt, that Jesus Christ lived and that he was the epitome of love, which I had been looking for. I could never find it. And that's when I really started seeking Christ because I knew he was real. I'd done everything in the world man had to offer, and none of it was real. It was a whole lifestyle change. I mean, leaving the world to follow Christ. I feel like Christ gave me another chance. He has brought me from a place that I thought I'd never be able to crawl out of. In the long run, I've noticed that wherever he has taken me, it's always been for a better result. The modeling industry, I mean, sometimes they don't even want me to talk. You're a hanger, literally. There is an eternal plan here. This isn't everything. Being in a magazine, I felt that I truly found Christ when I truly repented. I haven't been in contact with my daughter for 20 years until last year. Out of nowhere, I get a call from my daughter. She wants her father back. Th that to me has been the greatest gift that he's given me back. It's my daughter. It's, it's the best gift he's given me. I know that Christ lives, that he's the savior of mankind. So I believe that the greatest gift that I could give to him is to seek and strive to follow him. The birth of the savior means to me is that the world has a chance to change. The world has a chance to become what he intended it to become from the beginning. The world has a chance to accept his love and follow him.